<sighs> All right, peace and blessings to everybody out there. Welcome back to the Fake Woke Podcast. This is your boy, Bobby Vell, and I'm back with another video. Today, we're going to talk about the um, the uh, the Sheen, the Sheen bill that was passed by D.C. Um, uh, not too long ago. I think it was right before the, uh, the New Year. Um, so, let's get right into it. Um, the Minor Consent Vaccination Amendment Act. Y'all heard me right. The Minor Consent for Vaccination Amendment Act. All right, so basically this act permits children from the ages of, le of 11 on up to give their consent for give their consent to take the sheen now a lot of people are going to ask me um why does this matter why does this matter isn't the vex isn't the the sheen um okay shouldn't we all take the sheen shouldn't we all take the sheen to get over um the vid um, if you want to take the sheen, you could go ahead and take the sheen all you want. Um, I'm not here to sit there and try to discourage you from taking the sheen. What I am here to tell you and to warn you is that they are not liable for any injury or allergic reaction that happens to you when you do take the sheen for the vid now with that out the way this is completely fucked up now if you want to look at this minor consent for vaccinations uh, vaccinations amendment act the the code for the act is b b as in boy 23-0171 that's the code. You can go read read the bill for yourself. And I encourage people to go and read the bill for itself. Because from what lines 37 to 38, the legislation mandates that providers who administer the, the sheen, I don't want to say no trigger words, but the sheen under the authority of of the subsection shall shall seek reimbursement without per, uh, parental consent directly from the insurer rather than involving the parents in this process now what does that mean that means first and foremost children can go and get the sheen without informing their their parents they don't have to ask their parents. They don't have to inform their parents. They can just go and get the sheen. Secondly, um, this completely strips the parents of any say so when it comes when it comes towards the sheen and how their children should be. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? watched i'm just gonna use the simple word watch so basically the you're not in control of your kids anymore when it comes to medical uh situation when it, when it comes to shit like um this the sheen taking the sheen you have no say so you have no say so and everybody know how very impressionable children are we already know how easy it is to convince children to do certain things so when your child when your child don't have any medical medical history or knowledge about his or her family and how they have certain allergic reactions to this or they, they might have certain mental issues or it's a history of certain mis mental issue issues in the family it is easy to uh to convince a child to take the sheen 
You see what I'm saying? So if we just if we're if we're just being completely honest, they're trying to strip the uh, uh, they're trying to basically strip control from the parents and give it to the government. And this is a very very clever way into stripping the parents uh, of their control over their child because the school say if say your child goes to school and they're giving out back uh, uh, and they're giving out the sheen I was about to say the trigger word and they're giving out the sheen they don't have to tell you they don't have to document that your child took the sheen matter of fact they're trying to leave a certain part blank on the medical records for the sheen just in case let's say you gave birth to uh your you gave birth to your child this year this is just hypothetically speaking you gave birth to your child they tried to because like they legit tried to vaccinate children right out the womb no no immune system no nothing the child's immune system haven't even developed yet they're not even 10 minutes old they tried to vaccinate uh, they tried to shoot the child up with the sheen i didn't already said the damn uh, the trigger word they tried to shoot the child up with the sheen your child don't have no immune system your child cannot fight off any any immunity problems that it may uh, that it may encounter by taking the sheen because we all know that there's a matter of fact, I, I got it right here. The National Childhood uh, Vaccine Injury Act of 1986 that prevents any metal, not medical facility, but any company that comes up with the sheen or with a sheen uh, in regards to the vid, the swine flu, whatever the case may be. Say your child take that shit. They shoot your child up with it. And then next thing you know, there's an allergic reaction or there's a permanent health concern in regards to your child that your child didn't have before. You cannot go sue these people. You cannot go sue these people at all. So they're completely protected from the fact that, you know, uh, they completely protected by uh, from the fact that your child have received some type of medical issue from their sheen. You see what I'm saying? So, not on, not only that, but now it's like they don't have to tell you. They don't have to tell you. And peep this. There's a possibility that your child goes to school. They give him the sh they give him or her the sheen. Next thing you know, you thinking you still have to go get your child to take the sheen. So you take the child to the medical office, Dr. Kaiser, fucking Blue Cross, whatever the case may be, whatever medical physician people use, it, use nowadays. And then they double up on the same vaccine. I mean, on the same sheen. You see what I'm talking about? And that it's a possibility the second go round, it can actually really trigger something. It can actually trigger something. This is biological warfare on everybody, not just black people but black people should be very very aware but this is a biological war on everybody they're literally trying to strip away the rights that the rights uh, whatever rights that you have if you if we have any rights or so-called freedoms they're trying to take away the control that you have over your children and they're trying to uh, administer um certain medical procedures in order you know just so they can just so you won't be able to deny it because they know that a lot of people are starting to become hip to what's going on with these machines that are being developed because a lot of people are starting to catch certain side effects now you have certain medical physicians that be on twitter Talking about, well, you know, that is very rare, blah, 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 whatever, whatever. If it's very rare, why the fuck would they come up with, what, what's the name of this shit again? Why, why in the, why in the fuck would they come up with the National Childhood Vaccine Injury Act? If 
these reactions or allergic reactions are very rare. What's the point of you coming up with this act? If your product is safe for the for the general public to consume. I don't understand that. What's the point of passing laws like this that get that completely strips the control of the parents, completely strips the parents' control over their child and their medical and their medical situation and what they receive? Why are you trying to Why are you trying to give out the sheen at schools? A lot of this A lot of this shit. Excuse my language. A lot of this stuff does not register. Because if your product was as safe as you claim your product to be, you would not have to go through these measures in order to get your product across to the people. And the worst part about this is the school don't have to, uh, um, um, the school don't have to tell the parents that their child have has received the sheen. They don't have to tell them. They don't have to disclose that. So at this point, who's the parent? Is it the parents or is it the system? That's the question. Because now, even though I think there was 35, uh, 35 um, laws, uh, 35 bills like this in 35 different states that went up when I mean went up that were voted on 33 of them didn't pass I think one passed and I think this is another this is another one in DC that has yet to be you know passed and made into law one actually did get passed 33 of them were rejected now they sat there and they said in the article that I posted that 2021 you're going to see a resurgence of this law in several different states they're going to try to pass this again they're going to try to pass this again so now what they're doing is f the adults we're going straight for the kids f the adults they're going straight to the kids that's the problem this is what's happening in society now the corporation is getting clever they said we just gonna x out the middleman because the middleman is not guaranteed to do this we're going to convince the kids the kids is gonna take the sheen because they don't know no better they're very impressionable they're very easy to convince now it's not set in stone yet i think one state did uh pass this law I want to go do my Googles, post it on my story just so I can let everybody know. But this is biological warfare. Warfare. It's biological warfare. It really is. They let stupid 19 out. They gave you the pandemic. They gave you the stupid 19 relief bill that has nothing to do with, stu with stupid 19. It has nothing to do with relieving the economic pressure that majority of the citizens are under right now it was only to benefit the suits benefit the career politicians benefit the people that that's in office benefit the people that we elect to fuck us over and now they're trying to pass something else that's gonna fuck our kids over but besides that Thank you for tapping into the Fake World Podcast. I truly appreciate everybody that do support my podcast. I truly appreciate everybody that just scroll past. And I, I truly appreciate the haters. Truly appreciate y'all. Make sure y'all like, share, subscribe. Um, get my videos out there for me, please. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Make sure y'all stay very safe out here. Make sure y'all stay very dangerous. Um, and... Yeah, just keep a level ahead and just, like I said before, be safe.